Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create a very simple but cool looking looping animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as always here we are in adobe after effect let's create a new composition we are going to name it as main animation width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration is 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok like this go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection now i'm going to create one rectangle so for that i'm going to choose this star and over here you can choose red color just for now we will change the colors by holding shift i am going to create one star like this then go to the poly star one go to the poly star path one and we will reduce this points to three so we will get this proper rectangle like this okay then let's select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this select this go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically yep now i'm going to select my rounded rectangle tool let's select this and we are going to create one rounded rectangle like this then go to the rectangle uh, rectangle path and go and increase the roundness select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally now select this rectangle and uh, let's try to move this over here like this then after that we are going to create one ellipse uh, let's delete this fill or instead of deleting this fill let's choose white color for this fill uh, and for the stroke i'm going to choose red color just for now and we are going to create one ellipse select this press ctrl alt home and stroke width let's choose 10 pixels like this and let's make this fit okay and let's move this initially over here this ellipse should be over here like this then select this ellipse hit ctrl d let's move this downwards like this press s and let's increase the scale and we are going to remove this stroke and we are going to choose this red color again select this go to the align tab and choose align horizontally and try to adjust this over here so our adjustments are done if you want to adjust more you can do that but right now we will do this much only and now it's time to animate this so let's do one thing let's select this press p for position create one keyframe go to around one second let's move this from here to here then go to around two second let's copy first keyframe so hit ctrl c ctrl v select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see we will get this kind of animation after that we have this rectangle over here then this ellipse over here it should be parent with this uh, rounded rectangle so i'll select this and with the help of this i'm going to make it apparent like this select this and then select your pen behind tool and by holding ctrl i'll snap this anchor point properly at the bottom select this rectangle tool press r for rotation and rotate it let's say minus 15 over here or let's try to choose minus 20 and let's see how does it look so it looks so good create one keyframe go over here let's make this 20 go over here let's copy the first keyframe select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see you will get something like this it looks weird but that's okay then after that we have this rectangle i mean triangle over here then select this again and by holding ctrl i'll adjust the anchor point at the bottom like this select this rounded rectangle and make it apparent with this rectangle now select this press r for rotation let's make this minus 10 create one keyframe go over here let's make this plus 10 go over here and copy first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v select those keyframes and hit f9 okay so we will get something like this now we will select this uh, shape layer which is over here let's select this uh, uh, triangle and let's make it apparent with this ellipse over here which is at the bottom select this ellipse press p let's move this over here create one keyframe go over here let's move this from here to here go to the over here copy the first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v select those keyframes and hit f9 
right click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression Let's copy this loop out expression and we will apply this loop out expression by holding alt click on each and every word so we will get something like this okay now after that we need to do certain adjustments uh, if you see properly over, over over here our final looping point is properly at two seconds so i'll move my time indicator over here and i'll press n so this is going to be my last looping point and then what we need to do over here we will select this rectangle over here uh, and let's uh, try to move this over here a little bit okay then we have this triangle let's try to move this over here then we have this uh, layer over here let's try to move this over here and let's see okay this looks quite odd so let's try to do with other adjustments let's move all of them together over here we will start with this one let's move this a little bit over here and let's see i think this looks good then we will select this and this over here which means this one rectangle and this and let's try to move this over here okay that looks more sense and then select these three layers and try to adjust it like this so now if you see we will get this kind of proper animation now we will bring our uh, i'm going to use google logo for my color selection so i'll adjust the size and with the help of our shape layers and fill i'm going to pick up colors from google logo you can choose any color uh, you want uh, it's totally up to you i'm going to stick with my google logo colors okay let's hide this google logo then select both of this all of these layers and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation like this then hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards press t for opacity let's make this opacity 20 or let's say 40 select this select our rectangle tool over here and create mask on it like this go to the mask properties and increase the mask feathers like this okay let's select this first layer make it apparent with the second one select the second one press s and increase the size okay so this is how you can create this kind of simple looping animation inside of after effects.